Okay, I thought I might show how I'm making uh, these IB pointless stovetop cells that are made on the uh, on the kitchen stove, and how I am doing it. I'm doing it a little bit differently than uh, IB pointless showed. I'm using a pie tin here um, because I got a gas stove and just turning the gas on really really low. And then there's the aluminum foil, and the chemicals are um, borax and the Morton salt substitute, not salt, but salt substitute, and then the uh, the alum. And you mix up, uh, what I'm using is about a quarter teaspoon of the uh, Morton salt uh, substitute and the borax. And I'm just mixing it up in a little bowl here. And then uh, I pour it on the tin foil and start cooking that uh, mixture. And then when it gets cooked down, I'm placing the uh, copper and the magnesium electrode on top of that and then pouring on the uh, alum like uh, Ivy Pointless showed. And this will boil up on top of the uh, two electrodes rather um, violently if you're not careful. So I turn the heat down. I just keep sprinkling that on there until I get a surface coating on top of that crystalline structure. Then I let it cool down and I tap this down until the bubbles are gone. And if I add, need to add some more alum, I put a little more alum on there to make sure everything's covered up. Then you let it cool down. And this is done on a piece of aluminum foil. And I believe we may be getting a doping thing going on the aluminum foil. And Brad is actually adding um, some other chemicals to this and has had real good luck with this. And the thing about this particular cell is it's made dry. It's made with no water. It's cooked on the stove. And so you're not introducing liquid water to this at all. It's only the water that's in the molecules of the chemicals. And after that's done, after I get that to cool down, then what I'm doing is I'm encasing it in cardboard. I'm taking a couple of pieces of cardboard and cutting that, leaving the aluminum foil on it, and encasing that in cardboard and stapling it together. And that makes a pressure on that crystal because I believe these crystals will keep expanding but that keeps pressure on it and I may be getting a piezoelectric effect. And the reason I'm so interested in this is because of this and the fact that this thing here uh, uh, is running on one of these crystal cells uh, and not deteriorating, it's not dropping down at all. I'm not seeing any any deterioration in the output of that cell. Plus I'm getting fluctuations, I'm getting up and down fluctuations in power output that indicates to me that either heat, heat plus other um, components or something is interacting with that cell. That it's not purely galvanic, that we've got some kind of an interaction with the environment that's affecting that. So anyway, I just wanted to show how I'm making these uh, these crystalline cells on the stove using a pie tin. Now if you get this too hot um, while you're cooking this thing in here, you melt right through the pie tin. So you got to use low heat and get this to cook down without melting your pie tin. And I do believe perhaps we're getting a doping from the aluminum uh, molecule into this. I might be wrong, but uh, that's my suspicion. Okay, thanks for watching. That's uh, my rendition.